Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Souls of the Dark. Now if you watched the recent episode you will see you will see that I was trying to um farm some white titanite chunks and get those things so I can make my divine whip or vampire killer epic and strong and awesome like so um uh yeah, I've done that, and it actually didn't take me too long. It took me about, like, 30 minutes just to actually farm them. Not even that long, I think 20. But it, it didn't take me long to get them, get enough. If you, as you can see, my soul count is, like, a lot higher than the last episode. So I think I might actually um use some of my soul items to get another level. Might do that. Probably am. And um, this episode's going to be real short. Or not real short, but shorter than the other ones. Because all I'm going to do is try to get the uh, White Titanite Slap. So I can upgrade the uh, whip into the ultimate vampire killer. The strongest vampire killer! Yeah, I'm going to do that. And um, I'm going to have one episode dedicated solely to Nito. Because um, I like the idea of actually having the boss battles just be one episode of me just fighting. And just kind of with the music and everything, I like that. Because um, it just seems more epic because a lot of times when I play this, I don't actually win a lot of times on the first try. Some of the ep early episodes I surprisingly did well. But on the ep on most of the episodes, or most of the boss battles, I die a lot. Especially the Ornstein Smoke battle. I died like, I don't know how many times. And so, um, I'm going. that's going to be one episode dedicated to that. And mostly... Um, I have a few questions that I'm trying to figure out, okay, that hopefully you, the fans, can help me out with. Um, one of the questions that have come to my attention that I've thought about is that, um, in, I think, in the episode where I acquired the Dark Moon Seance Ring, I said it can add another attunement slot. And the thing I was thinking about right now was, um, if I grab another attunement slot... Or, um, item. Another attunement slot that I'm going to get. Um, or item that's going to give me another attunement slot. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But, um, uh, uh, if I get another attunement slot, it kind of doesn't go with the Castlevania feel if you give it my drift. Because as soon as you got the, the sub-weapon, which is what I think of the, uh, miracles and the items that you use, it had only one slot. Um, and the sub items, you would have to get another item to actually, to, um, use it. Use a different one. Use a different item, you had to get another sub item. And the item that you had before would disappear. So, I think that if I had two attunement slots, it would, um, take away from the Castlevania element that I'm trying to present. Which is to have one, I one attunement slot, one sub weapon, if you get my drift. So, I'm thinking that I might... Um, ban the uh, Dark Moon Seance Ring and any item that gives you an extra attunement slot just to retain the difficulty and the Castlevania feel. So, I might do that in the future. Um, depending. Depending. Right now, I don't actually need another attunement slot, so I think uh, we'll figure it out on the way. Um, so, yeah. That's what I'm going to think about doing. Um, and let's see. Let's go and get the, uh, oh, oh, I'm, let's go get the White Titanite Slab. And I'm going to show you how to get the, uh, the Covenant Serpent Silver Ring. Oh, God, he's stalling me. I'm going to dodge a giant arrow. Run, don't, I think I had rid him. Okay, if you really just want to get through this area real quick, do what I do. And that is fall down here and, uh, go through here. And then that is where the silver... Serpent Ring, the Covenant Silver Serpent Ring. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring and run away. And if you want to get out of here, you roll down here. This is the shortcuts to get through this area real fast. I love using these. Um, you go down here, and bam, and you fall down this hole. And that's the way you do it. And that's how you clear that area in like freaking a minute. <laughs> when you won't want to deal with uh, any of those guys. Oh! Guys... Is Leroy going to invade me? I just realized I'm human. Okay, whoo. 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 I'm not human. Thank God. 
Hey God, I sorry guys, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> but if Leroy evaded me, I would have been scared. Sh hey, 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 yeah, come back here, stay alive. What the? F this whip is not helpful in killing these things. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, I got an white Titanite chunk. That's good. But I'm pretty much equipped with everything I need. So, um. In the last episode, I did go and upgrade it to plus six, or no, after the last episode, while I was farming, I did go upgrade and turn into a plus six divine whip, so that's helping me out a little bit. Um, and right now it's plus six, because I'm just going to run through and grab the white titanite slab, because um, I'm going to go back, I want to make one trip, not two, to um, Andre, so I can get my divine whip up to plus ten and make the true divine killer. Divine killer? I just a divine killer. Oh god! It's the babies of death! Why would. Oh god. Oh, we can hit me. Fire. I don't like fire. I don't like fire. Oh, oh god. What? <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't want to die. Okay, and this is how you get the white titan slab. You run down here, you go over here, and you got it. Now, if you've gotten the white titanite chunks and the slab, you pretty much should be able to um, uh, get um, the slab. So, or I mean the slab. I mean, the, I'm sorry, people. I'm scared, and I'm about to die. I'm. I think I'm gonna actually die in this episode, but um, because I need, I don't want to run back through everything. I'm just gonna dodge and flip and try to get that last item up there. So, soul of a hero, and I'm dead. So, anyways, um, I probably should have used those souls that I had to upgrade a level. Should have done that. Oh well, <laughs> that's Dark Souls for you. Anyways, um, I'm going to, the last bit of this episode, I'm going to go and get my whip upgraded. So, I can make it the true vampire killer. I don't know how many times I said that. I probably should shut up. <laughs> but, yeah, and once I have this whip, it, this is truly the way to getting past Nito and killing death. Because um, people I've had in the future ask me, how have you gotten past this guy? And it's because I upgraded the whip to the final plus 10. And then I fought him. And I think because I have the Admit Force Miracle, that's going to make it a little bit easier on me. So, well, uh, you yeah. Seem to be I am alright, Tondre. Anyways. Okay, we're going to reforce the weapon. Oh yeah, I need souls to do that. Give me one minute, Andre. Let's use a soul of a brave knight. There we go. That should be enough. Well, Hello. Okay, and then we're going to reinforce... The whip. Again. 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 And finally, the white titanite slab will upgrade it to the final form of the whip to get the vampire killer! Go get your and that is it. I have... The ultimate vampire killer. Yay! I wish actually when you upgrade your whip to like, or any other weapon to plus 10, it did like some cool ass effect where it's like, ching, ching, ultimate weapon or some shit. That'd be cool. But that probably wouldn't be a Dark Souls seal. It would be like something else. Anyways, I'm going to cut it this episode right here and say adieu. Shrug it all off. You know. <laughs> And see you guys later. Cause I'm lazy. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> that is a fucking army of death coming towards me. <laughs> fuck that. Ah, fuck that. Oh fuck! <laughs>